Good morning, CNS. Today is Tuesday, October 25th, 2022, and it's a bead day. I'm Nat. And I'm Rachel Rowe. Good morning, everyone. The marching band competed in their final regular season appearance in Central Square on Saturday night. We scored a season high of 95.05, once again earning the highest score in the state. We were undefeated during regular season and will compete at the state championship on Sunday night at the Dome. Let's go North Stars. School pictures and student ID cards for sophomores and juniors have arrived. You can pick them up tomorrow through Friday during all three lunches in Cafe One at the Student Center, located in the back corner of Cafeteria One near the window. <laughs> the college lineup for today is Cayuga Community College at 1045 and University of Pittsburgh at Bradford at 1145 in the Career Center. Last minute students are welcome. The Marines will be in the Student Center again in Cafe One today during lunches. Marines are a family that fights together, finding individual purpose in a collective cause, the protection of our nation, and the advancements of its ideals. Stop by to learn more about what education and benefits the Marines can offer to you. Students, are you interested in a career in public safety? Want to learn more? There is a public safety career mini trade fair scheduled for Wednesday, November 2nd, located in the multi-purpose room during lunches. Areas represented are law enforcement, fire, emergency communications, EMT, paramedic, and ambulance. Don't miss this great opportunity. Physicals on November 10th. The health history form must be completed and signed before you can sign up for your physical. Sign up by November 9th or you will not be able to have a physical. Boo. And now here's sports. Girls volleyball plays tonight at Liverpool at 6.30. Make sure to come out and support the girls and wear black. Girls Swimming completed a Burgos Diving Invitational on Saturday at Nottingham. Diver Caitlin Carroll placed first overall. The girls have another meet tonight at Liverpool at 5. Last night, the Bears routed the Patriots 33-14 in surprising fashion. With the loss, Bill Belichick still remains tied for the second all-time in wins at 324 with former Bears coach George Halas. That's all for sports. Back over to you. Thank you. For lunch today, there will be egg and muffin breakfast sandwiches, hash brown patties, juice, and fresh fruit, mm. of course. <laughs> That's all for today from the CNS Morning Show. I'm Nat. And I'm Rachel Rowe. Have a great day.